That, I mean, they, that's how it goes when it comes to you know, like cons. Yeah, conventions, conventions be be popping, yo. We got booze and everything, but we they also do. have pink Yoshi and Mac in the pink hoodie. If this ain't full hood, I don't know what is. There's gonna be a lot of swinging. There's gonna be a lot of duffs dealt out left and right. A red team's coming to deliver, but we already saw how smart Uno and Six were able to play around that style of play. All right, I, I love the whole clear by Six that you asked. All right. I'm liking these combos from Six. One of the best things in Joker's kit when it comes to particularly fighting Yoshi is grounded grappling hook being able to grab at Flutter Jump. Flutter right. Jump is a great get out of jail free card for Yoshi in every situation you could think of. Can't escape grabs. I, I for one, think that it is a crime to try to neutralize one of the biggest op, uh, f features of a Yoshi. And I, for one, am up for banning Joker from future events. I'm here for banning Yoshi. Neutralize this character's whole game. See, you're only mad because New York gets raptured by it. Or it's just a raptured by it. Oh, that was a bad joke. That was bad. That was bad. Key talk. I really hope Red Team gets roasted for your <laughs> sins. Like, Regardless, I, <laughs> um, Blue, Blue Team is looking really nice right now. They have a really good control. We have Arson, um, Arson just being left out of the CBX. Really cannot expect to see him again on this stock, but who knows? But we were talking about this earlier. Joker, how much damage he does against Yoshi. He has that back air that pretty much acts like a sword. I mean, it's short. It's more like a dagger than anything, but it has that hurt box without having a hurt box. It, it's ridiculous. Um, we already have Little Mac just being completely taken advantage of and already losing his last stop, which means that with the steel stock, uh, the share stock, not steel, um, it's always the same. It's just a situation where it's just bad, and Little Mac is not going to be able to survive this. Even with that stock being taken out from 6WX, it's a matter of time. Like, we've been sitting here focusing on 6's beauty of Joker, but not even getting a chance to highlight the fact that Uno has been emasculating this Little Mac. Man, and wh where's this coach? Where is, where's he at? They're throwing the towel. This is it. There's no towels to throw out here at FD. You got no room to move. Man, Look at this. Smash We're bringing a towels. knife and a gun to a fist fight. <laughs> <laughs> this is the most unprepared Lomac has ever been. Yo, my man is out there on his streets just swinging and getting angry, forgetting he in the hood of Philly. What? I mean, you were talking about if this one, if this was the most hood, you don't know what is. <laughs> It's a shame, though, because Little Mac has actually gotten a lot of good tools when it comes to Ultimate. His, he can now side B and the up B with the directional air guys also helping him with his recovery. He's stronger. His, side, his super armor is more ridiculous than it was before. It's, it's a good time. The issue is that you're still Little Mac. Yeah. Like, you Best can, ground game in the game, but what does it matter if you get into the air? Like That's just the problem with Little Mac is that he's really well designed for Smash Ultimate. He's not well designed with Smash Ultimate's competitive scene in mind. Because if you look at a map with, with walk-offs, then this character's fantastic. You don't got to worry about your bad recovery if you don't have to recover. Yeah, you're right. But that's not how we play. And unfortunately, Little Mac just falls victim to unfortunate circumstances out of his control. He's still able to swing really hard. And maybe with a new partner in tow and on a new setting, things will look a little bit better as we go to Battlefield for game two. And this time, instead of Yoshi, we're looking at Meta Knight. All I see is them putting a, a lifeline for Little Mac. Yo, man, I'm off. Come give me an up air real quick. That's what I see with Meta Knight pick. But then, while you guys are both out there, you're going to have Arsene Joker coming down there and just down airing you guys into oblivion. I'm more worried about Uno at this rate. Look at this. Yeah, this is dumb. That back air is really good. Also, having the hitbox is very similar to a blade or a sword in this game. That gun just allows so much. Not to mention, that back air just allows so many combos. It's just really nice, but unfortunately, uh, Combo and his own partner from his opponent's play with the roller. Not what you want to see. Like right now, Uno's just making sure that everyone's covered in ink and everyone's ready to swing it. Look at that. Look at that. Yo. I'm sorry, not Rebel Guard. Tetra, it gets a counter at that point. Tetra card is so big. Yeah, it's I, I activity know that boxes name. are so big. Tetra card? Tetra card. Tetra card. Tetra card, and then the blue one when it's reflecting is Makara card. Eh, that sounds like a bad game. Man. <laughs> we have inkling without ink, so it's just like a, a, a dryling? Is that how that works? <laughs> Moistling. Moistling, yeah, kind of, yeah, moistling. Actually, I don't know if you want to say that, yeah. You know what? Sw strike that. That never happened. I heard nothing. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yo, man, look at that little Mac. It's trying so hard, isn't he? He sure is. He sure is, but I don't know how much that's going to help him. Oh, my what God. Yo, talk about that. Look at him. He went for the up air, got the little Mac to go all the stage, baited it for the fair. If that's not stage and gameplay now, I don't know what it is. Uno looking like the number one player in this match right now. That's why I love watching Uno. He sees the slip counter come out from the little Mac, recognizes it's a bad option, decides it's playtime. With the bait out and the kill immediately afterwards, it's a runaway game for Blue Team at this point. And it's just one of the things, like, why would you pick Little Mac after how you just saw him get abused? You felt like it was your opponent, your partner's of responsibility to help you recover? Don't be wrong, they should be there to help you, but you need to learn how to recover on your own. Right now, you have this strong... And wait, speaking of which, you have this strong ground game, but why would you take him to a triplat? I'm confused. Yeah, there's a lot of questions that need to be asked here. For instance, why was the Yoshi the one to switch characters? Yeah, right. Yoshi was doing all right. Oh, and yeah, you're done. All right. I like that the KO punch was used to try to supplement the recovery, but it was just too a little too late with the job, jump stolen. And a forward error with Arsene helps clean up a uh, very pretty 2 0. Yo, man, that man's face set it all. He was like, oof. <laughs> he was like, wow, I think about it. we're done. Uh, might have uh, need to go back and just reset all that. Oh, you want to run that back, though? <laughs> Not the losers bracket. Sal Salty Nothing best of five. Salty best of five, all stage, money math, $200. No, no. Mm, that was rough. No, it no. Was, and I, I mean, there, there was nothing else to blame it on. Why would you pick Little Mac in doubles, especially like, in triplat? Like, okay, if you have a counter pick and that works, maybe. But you didn't show me anything where it made it look like Little Joker. I'm sorry, Little Mac was a good idea. And then you counter pick to Little with Little Mac, not swapping him out after being obliterated to a triplat. Just questions. I think I think the problem isn't so much Little Mac and like his lack of tools for covering those stages, so much as it's like him and his teammate didn't know how to coordinate around Little Mac because he could swing hard and you could plan around that. You basically treat Little Mac like a cannon. 